Das ist mein Outfit. I just crochet a bunch of squares this morning and I'm gonna be using the squares to make the Harry style cardigan and this is gonna be the first cardigan that I am crocheting so I'm very excited I just randomly thought of starting this project because I was watching business proposal and I thought I should multitask while watching it and also I thought this would be a perfect way to use up my yarns because for most of the yarns that I have left I have them in a very limited amount I only have one or two left for each color. This is all that I have left for my pink yarn. It's not even finished yet so I'm not sure what to do with this one. I also finally received the chest drawer that I ordered for my room a few days ago. We started building it at around 9 something at night. I already knew building a drawer is gonna be quite hard so I asked Tyler for help. And we were hand screwing every single screw. There were so many of them. It was a really painful process and we couldn't finish it. It was already midnight so we decided to stop. And the next morning I found this like electrical um, score, like a hand drill in my dad's toolbox. I didn't know my dad had that and it made things so much easier. So I finished up the whole thing by myself the next morning. I think it took me less than half an hour to do it so I felt kind of bad for putting Tyler through the painful process. Yeah. <laughs> so now all that's left for me to do is just to cover up the back panel. spent a good two hours reorganizing everything and it fits everything that I need. This drawer is not the best but at least it's not like shaky or flimsy. I got it from Shopee and it's a lot cheaper than Ikea so I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Okay. Yeah. This is how I'm currently storing my guitars. I don't I don't like it at all. So I'm gonna look for some other ways I can store them. But as of now, I'm just gonna keep it because I just got this then. I just realized this vlog is kind of all over the place because I film most of the clips without even explaining what's going on or talking over it. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you would know that I used to have a Nintendo Switch and I sold it. I had the red and blue first generation Switch and then I sold it. And when they released the Animal Crossing edition, I got it again and I sold it during lockdown. And now... I... <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed to show this but I did it again and this time I'm not gonna sell it. I promise. I got the Switch. OLED. A little backstory to kind of justify why I sold it in the past and buy it again now is because I was kind of a broke uni student at that time. I didn't really have an income. I was making a little money from YouTube but not much at all. So I felt like it wasn't a smart financial decision to spend so much money on a gaming console because the game cards are not really that cheap and I also kind of felt like I should be doing something more productive instead of spending time on games in my room and if I remember correctly I think I sold it and I bought a new laptop because I needed a better laptop to edit on and it was a right thing to do at the time I didn't have that kind of money to just buy any games that I want so yeah I sold it but Nintendo always has a soft spot in my heart I always love playing games ever since I was a kid and my inner child is very happy right now. This is just so much nicer than the previous generation because the screen is a lot bigger now.
I also bought some accessories for my Switch. This is my case. Look how cute it is. It was kind of stressful to choose where to put these patches, but this is how I ended up putting them. And I also got the cutest thumb grip. Ah, look how cute. We have Long Mao and Mui Tan Si Gui. I also really like the ones that I have on right now. It's a frog and a axolotl. Is it called axolotl? I think so. <laughs> My lip of the day and wallet phone, my aligners case. What else? This is my outfit. I'm gonna be going to the mall with my mom. I'm gonna be going to Huga to see if they have any cute room decor pieces. And I also need to get a file for my taxes, like to keep all of my receipts. I'm just wearing something very casual today. And I'm gonna go to the mall. Let's go. Get it now. Getting this bean bag for my room it reminds me a lot of the Togo um, floor chair. My bangs are so flat today. I lost my hair roller. I don't know where I put it. Um, so I can't do anything to my bangs to fix it. I'm gonna do a quick haul of everything I got from Huga to decorate my room with but the things that I have here were kindly gifted to me which I am really grateful for because Huga is like a brand that I really love this portion of the video is not sponsored they are not telling me to film this but I thought I would share because I found some really cute stuff there and I'm very excited to be decorating my space with these stuffs so the first thing that caught my eye were this 
unscented candles. I'm planning to use this as a planter after I finish the candle. And I also got two glasses which I thought would look cute in my vlog. I got a big dustbin for my room because the one that I currently have let me just show you what it looks like because it's just right next to me this is the one that I'm currently using and it's not completely covered so sometimes dust will fall out of this thing so I figure it's time to upgrade my dustbin I really love the round shape and the color just fits my room really well in and I got these two for my toilet very cute, love the colors Towels I really love things with the arch design recently You can't really put that many stuffs in here but at least it's still a functional decor piece And I got three reed diffusers These are not for me, I got them for my family and friends This is my favorite scent White tea I also got some big things from Huga as well And first is this It's a giant bolster! Ah! This is the size difference. It's really big and I just thought it would be very comfy for my bed. two away from this trash drawer because I need to have my plant near the window I figure a new place to put this thing I kind of wish my chair is in white so that it goes better with my room I also finally put back my lace curtain I've been procrastinating for many many days now and I still haven't showed you guys my favorite thing that I got from Huga it's this bean bag right here and not gonna lie, it was such a painful process to fill this thing up. I think it took me more than an hour to do it. And it was a really messy process because there were like beads all over the floor. But if I had to say one thing that I don't like about this, or even just bean bags in general, is that it makes a lot of noise even with the slightest movement. It's quite comfy. I'm gonna be chilling here a lot. I think my room right now is almost done. I like how it looks now, so I don't think I'm gonna be changing it up anytime soon. Um, I don't know, I change my room up all the time. It's my coping mechanism to the mess going around in my life. I guess it's because it's the only thing I have control over. But yeah, I just need to change up my bed sheet now and we're done.